All right, welcome back to the Big Bucket of Chicken starring Kevin McClure and me, blue hat and blue glasses guy, a.k.a. Lou Vegas. How you doing, Kevin? Lou Vegas, welcome back. It's good to see you again. I'm really getting in touch with my inner Roger Smith today. You know, the alien from American Dad. He always has, like, characters. Can you do a Roger Smith voice for us? Well, no, not really. You're not good at the voices. I, I've noticed I mean, I, that. I don't try. I don't practice at all. I don't even, like, attempt to, like, do it all. I think you could probably pull off at least three impressions. I think I could pull off more than three if I try. Is there one that, like, you deep down want to try that you think you can nail? Is there one deep down that I want to try that I think I can nail? Like, even if it's, like, Cher or Madonna? Like deep down, that's real deep, Kev. <laughs> that's like too deep for the, even for the show. I like to, I like, to, I do like. I, you know, what I'm good at. I'm not, may not be good at the impression. I'm good at the background story. Like, I like to think this guy Lou Vegas. He went to Vegas one time, mm-hmm. got all the bullshit that you get in Vegas. Didn't like it, but just like, just is that guy forever now. Like, just kind of like a, hey, I bought a hat at the gift shop and a pair of glasses at a gas station, and now I'm Lou Vegas forever. Now you could actually rename the show Lou Vegas and the Bucket or something like that. Well, we should call the show the Bucket. I think I think people want just like at some I've heard that. I've heard people want the abbreviation. Once we get big, that's how lazy people become. They're like, I don't even want to like say the whole name like have, when I say your show. Have I you guys wanna... been down to the Bucket? No, oh, man, I go down to the Bucket once a week, every Friday, baby. Because it used to be like on E, it used to be talk soup and then they just became the soup. I mean, that's even that's lazier than what we're proposing. And soon it's going to be called just tomato soup. <laughs> it's going to be UP. UP. Like they're going to take the SO out of it. Just UP, like OOP. <laughs> Welcome to OOP. Is a French show about the celebrities and their penises. And See, their that's, the, that's your go-to. The French your, your, your French-Canadian, uh, hello, it is me. <laughs> I will smoke cigarettes if I want to inside doors. Who cares? I don't care. See, I think I could I could listen to a whole show of you. My doing impression that. of the French Canadian guy is just a Robin Williams. even worse impression of Robin Williams' worst bad impression of a French Canadian guy. Because I love <laughs> Robin Williams, I don't give a fuck who knows it. And it's and the impression always ends up with blowing smoke in a newborn baby's face. Oh, the baby smoke because that's what all French people do. You know what? He nailed it, yeah. Robin Williams. If, if nothing else. He he knew people. See, my thing, people. my stereotype of a French person is that like sailor hat with like the black and white stripes, <laughs> and they have like a little beret on, and they have like a like a big thing of French bread for like no reason. Baguettes. Yeah, baguettes. Exactly. They got a couple of crepes. Yeah, you know, that kind of thing. And they're in, always in a coffee house, and they're always like cooler than you. It's drinking like, tiny cups. Of I've coffee. never seen that person in my life, but I still think that that's when I see a French person. I was like, oh, there they are. Except for like a National Lampoon movie. You're yeah. like, oh, there he is. It's kind of like a mime. mime Minus the face paint. Like, yeah. that's kind of what All it right. is. I get that. Now, uh, we haven't uh, done an episode in two weeks because you went on a nice vacation with your family. How was that? How was I it? tried to go on a vacation, yeah. Uh, I don't know if you guys have heard about this thing yet, but the coronavirus is uh, hurting people left and right. Well, it's killing people. Well, it's killing Some. people, yeah. Let's not get... I, I know it's going uh, to... It, it's probably a state-manufactured kinda... uh, chemical warfare, but it's not killing everybody. Do you kind of get sick of the meme where it's like every year there's something like... like come, okay. Like, I, I love that people are so, like, informed, like, you, oh, this year, this is what's going to kill you. Until it kills you. Like, there's people dying from this, and there's like, they're like, oh, yeah, I bet you're going to die from it. Yeah, they, they already have. No, uh, the, the, I was supposed to go on a cruise a couple of weeks ago. I was mm-hmm. supposed to take off from the New Jersey Haba. Um But the, when they uh, got to New Jersey, they realized there was four people that were testing, being tested for coronavirus. Oh, boy. So they said two of them were stretchered out of the boat. So, of course, when we heard that on Friday morning, as we're about to take a car ride over to fucking you know jersey to get on the cruise ship yeah um what do you think our reaction was bringing two fucking kids on there? roll those dice no not at all of we're like them. fuck this i mean like people were like texting us is this your cruise ship <laughs> i'm like yeah fuck <laughs> the thing is is it like okay like let's just say like all clear like we tested every fucking no, floor and I deck am, yeah me neither i would not yeah <laughs> you wouldn't do it i mean i don't even know if i'd do it if it was just me and my wife going like i don't know i don't because there's a lot of people right now out to sea that are quarantined on a fucking cruise ship and the quarantine time is anywhere between 14 and 21 days for this fucking thing That's so up. you got fucking like dumb white guys just like waving to people <laughs> waving to fucking uh tmz from their from their window you might die but but bottomless shrimp, right? Like, <laughs> who wants to go on the dolphin ride? Yeah, exactly. yeah it's like, yeah, I, that's what I mean. So we ended up getting uh, rebooking, and we we took a flight over to uh, Aruba, and we had a great time. That was so good. It was how, awesome. How was it? Was it like sunny and nice down there? Sunny and nice, and Aruba is like safe. You know, like, I, I, like that's that's like the 
dumb white guy in me that's like, Define oh, safe. it looks safe in here. I don't know. Like, you, you know, just like when Be you, more specific. Because if you go off the beaten path in some places, you feel like, okay, what the fuck? Where did I just go? I get Like, it. Aruba doesn't really have that, which is nice. And uh, in a, you know what it is? It's them damn Dutch. The Dutch. It's a Dutch colony. Really- no, Aru- I really highly recommend Aruba because... You know, a lot of sometimes, like when you go on a resort, like everything's on the resort, and you just stay on the resort unless you're like going snorkeling with fucking uh, Flipper or whatever later. Mm-hmm. But anyways, or you want to see like the inactive volcano when you get like a stamp that said you were there. Um, I don't really like when I go uh, traveling. I don't like that. I don't like like every day. Like I have seven things to do today. Yeah. It's like I want to fucking lay on a beach. We're going I get glass fucking bo- glass bottom boat sailing. Like I I I, I work and I go places. Oh, not go places, but I like I I work every day. I feel like it's like work. You got to get to the place. You got to do this. You got to get the equipment. You got to do like that's what I like. Okay, maybe one day in the whole trip. But there's like some people that's like, did you see our itinerary that we're doing? It's like I don't fucking want to do that. Well, all right. So let me let me speak to that because I, I, as a person who doesn't fly, so I don't go on a lot of like vacations where itineraries are necessary. Like I'm going upstate to my friend's property. And we're going to shoot guns and drink. That's my itinerary. Which is great. Which is my favorite. I, I, I agree. It's leisure time. On one know? hand, I agree because I get it. Like I want to go someplace to do nothing. I want to fly across the planet to sit and drink and have no one ask anything of me. The Aruba beaches are so nice. So, But 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 I understand the itinerary people because you want to do stuff. Like in my mind, I like the idea of doing the uh, let's get quads and drive through the jungle. Let's do like zip lining. Let's go to the volcano, like as you said, and get a stamp. Yeah, I mean, look, we did some things like on the beach. You know, we did like jet skiing. We did like the boat. Like you know, you pulled by the other boat and like this. I don't know what they call it, but whatever the fuck it was. <laughs> it's it's minus the banana boat. It's you, like you sitting got, in a chair instead of a banana. boat. You got dragged by some guy in a boat. Like, dragged by some guy. That's what it was. The, <laughs> the boat. It was the annual boat drag. Come on, white people, isn't this fun? Like we. Yeah, we took our daughter on it, and she was, like, terrified. Because it, the water was getting her eyes, like, as it was going, like, the waves were rough. So that was, that was like, why she was terrified. Yeah, but, she'll, she'll be cool but it was fun. Years. I mean, she's like, I really love this. And then it was, like, five seconds later, it's like, get it out of my eyes. And it's burning. <laughs> salt air. Yeah, so, I mean, that that's cool. And, I look, I respect that. Like, I'm not going to say, like, that's bullshit. Like, you should you suck for doing that. It's just my preference is, is like, I you know, and I, my wife is the same way. Like, when I go on a fucking vacation, I don't want it to be like, I gotta be up at seven for that boat. Like, it's like, I don't fucking want to be up at all. <laughs> like, you tell me, like, don't tell me where and I have to be somewhere. Like, I want to, like, at my time, go to where I want to go. Like, that's what I don't like. It's like, tomorrow at 12, better be up. And, you know, I don't like that. Like, I'm on a vacation. I don't need a fucking schedule. I have a schedule every week where I have to go to work, then I have to go to lunch, then I have to go home, and, you know, then I have to deal with my kids and my wife and that kind of thing. That's my schedule. I don't need another schedule as i'm in a tropical paradise so like uh, what you're saying is uh what i'm hearing is those family like the vacation going like the whole family that's exactly what happens like tomorrow at noon we're all it's like yeah how do i get out of this do i break my own toe to get out of this because i will snap a pinky toe i'm like look guys i'm bleeding yeah and it's never worth it when you go there's always like wait a minute there's booze on this boat oh wait there was booze on the beach and they were bringing it to me like yeah, what the fuck exactly yeah like it's like that's not a perk for me i think even if i was by myself and i went let's say to like costa rica and it's like the magic of the jungle dress this- right now to go to costa rica totally right lou like, vegas is ready for any yeah. kind of tropical temperatures but i feel like i'd be like i'm a- yeah tomorrow morning at eight we're gonna go do this thing and i get there and then all of a sudden it's like we have to put this harness on you sir it's like you know what i'm out Like, you really look like a guy that was in the movie The Beach. Like, you were, like, one of the guys that lived there. You were there for a few years, and you had some name, like, you you, you were, like, uh, you were, like, Frick Frack or something. Zanzibar. (laughs) Yes. You guys, oh, you guys want to get the, uh, you guys want to get flour to make bread? You got to go talk up to the trees and talk to Zanzibar. <laughs> and I'm just up there just like counting yeah. money that doesn't, ex- that doesn't, no, you doesn't mean anything anymore because I haven't been in, s- in society in 20 years. Like, one, two, three, four, five. I have $5,000 here. You have like one skill. You make like Nestle Toll House cookies. Like that's all you do. <laughs> they're like, yeah, go see Frick, go see fucking Zanzibar. He knows what to do. I can see them coming from miles. I'm like, they're coming for my cookies, <laughs> the Toll House morsels. But I, but the thing is, like I said, I mean, I, I understand and respect like that people do that. And that's cool. Like, and I mean, they get great photos and all that stuff. That's another thing with me is like photos like like as i get older like that's that to me is like so weird what? where i'm just like i'm having a great time and then it's like wait a minute we need five pictures of having a great time like i hate that whole like fake process of well it takes you out of the moment number one so it's yeah. like if you're in the moment like let's say we went to a concert 
Yeah. And like I'm just like having a good time. We're gonna go to some cool concerts this year, actually, and I'm drunk and I'm happy. I'm just in the moment. Don't, yeah, I know that. Don't come bother me. When the song is when we're done, we can we can wrap up and talk about what happened in our but if you're like, hey, hey, and it's like maybe like take one quick snap and like, okay, thank you. But it's like, well, stand over here, get by the get by the the, the, the band and make sure we can get the drum solo. Yeah, like, well, I, I feel like pictures of scenery and things like that, like that's a little bit less force because like you well, do I'm, I'm a photographer, I like doing stuff like that. Yeah, that's cool, but I'm talking about like, okay, we need you two in this picture now uh, okay okay your arm was a little out of the shot so let's do another one no you need a smile this time like i hate that like no 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 we're, we don't no, next to the jungle no we need people need to see that we're in the jungle you're channeling your mom right now that's a, what i mean a little bit you're channeling like that that's like the beth the beth voice of just like Kev, kevin kevin <laughs> stan i don't see your kev i couldn't see your eyes I know, in that picture. I know but i'm just saying i don't want to like it's it's almost like i hired a professional photographer to like you know like i'm at, I'm at like it's a wedding photographer yeah. all of a sudden <laughs> hey guys stop having fun oh god oh, her knee fun. was out of her dress here can we just can we just move the knee back in um uh oh look a salamander i want to go i want to go i want to go to a tropical place kevin i want to do all those things I want to well you have line. to get on a plane to do that yeah. well actually florida might be pretty good for you i'm like, working florida's up to not, it. not a bad flight i'm working up yeah, to it I'm i think to, you should do that. i think i'm gonna make my own plane in my garage and fly that like almost like the uh <laughs> what's that what's that movie with the the goose flyer or the goose whisperer what's the one where the kid makes the plane and flies the geese what is that piece of shit oh movie? fly away home yeah that's a true story i don't care what the fuck i, I like that movie i want to make a gyroscope like a goose and be like look is that a oh he's he's, he's <laughs> crashing how dare you shit on fly away home i the, like that movie those things are made for 300 pounds oh there it is. there it is okay he's gone he's gone it's like just me just screaming ah! she they thought that they thought the girl was her mommy and that's they they followed her so that's how they that's that's a heartwarming story tear like usually i don't like animals but those damn geese are so damn adorable are you gonna make movie. me watch this movie this weekend i think you, it's anna Paquin and jeff daniels <laughs> Come on, sold. Yeah. <laughs> so something happened to me yesterday, and I wanted to. I wanted to. Is talk. that what you're wearing? This? Are it's you like, undercover? Something happened to me yesterday, guys, and uh, I may or may not be uh, uh, the number one suspect in a, in a, in a string of home invasions. <laughs> so uh, you'll find out. You'll find out at the end of this episode whether I'm a, a, a criminal or I'm having a mild nervous breakdown. Yeah. You tell me. You tell me, guys. <laughs> they call me the wrench. <laughs> <laughs> Zanzibar is really going crazy on the podcast today. No, uh, so yesterday, uh, as you guys, I've, I think I've mentioned on before, I work for Safe Light. I, I go, I'm the guy in the red shirt on the commercial. This is what the guy really looks like. It's not that like clean cut guy. Like, hey, I'm here to do a job for you. <laughs> that it does make sense. It's, it's, it's you. me. It's like, hey, I'm here to. Uh, can I come in your house for a minute? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta just look around yeah. and uh like where kind of, lo- kind of loiter i haven't peed in two hours where on your property would be okay for me to pee in public oh right here by the garbage cans like don't don't tell my boss you could probably make up a story that you were in the war like you don't have to be specific about what it was like they can just kind of like assume which one it was it's like sir when i'm working on your car just stay away from my left side that's my trigger <laughs> side that's the side i killed with but anyway so sometimes I'm, my wrist acts up because of the shrapnel so when you when you have a job like this basically i'm meeting four to five to six new people every day and you get to like go through all the neighborhoods <laughs> you it sound like it's a dating site. but no it's it's, it's speed dating it's actually, for it, fucking windshields it's super interesting because you actually have to interact with and like do things like you wouldn't so anyway i, I do a lot of like a uh, um whatchamacallit uh <laughs> you do like errands around their house i do too. errands around their house you I do the windshield up. you fucking yeah. wash the windows I go, I'll, I'll do listen for a chris 20 dollar bill i'll do anything you want sir <laughs> fix the newel post this red shirt comes right off just so you know I'm not wearing any <laughs> underwear today also but anyway so uh it's like an apartment complex and it's like one of those apartment complexes that are all over long island that are like advertise and and the name makes it sound like oh heatherwood oh that must be like a dreamy dream, dream. new horizons yeah or like like uh like oak palace and you get in it's like oh these are just like tomorrow containers with doors on them and you just live inside them until <laughs> and they're you die. very expensive yeah until you die and then they sweep out your crap and they put some you're talking about there. the ones that they're putting up near the train stations right well this is this one was out out east somewhere and anyway, okay. so i go to this place and i notice like they all have the same like group of people it's mostly retirees and older people oh, okay and kind of creepy weirdo looking people <laughs> So like, so like the guy whose windshield I'm doing, it's like an, an old man, but like the old man that, all right, so I'll give you the look of this guy and you tell me if you've seen this look a million times, gray, all gray hair. The car is disgusting. So, you know, he's single. There's no wife inside that house. He's the wife is dead. Yeah. He sold his house. Now he's living in this box. <laughs> He's got that like old man, like s- like grease back, slick comb combed home. hair. Yeah, I love like, the not comb. the comb over, but like the straight, slick back, like comb over. Like it's like comb su- in such a way. It's like the the comb the the like like this way his mom combed his hair when he was like a seven. <laughs> he never stopped doing it. And just the look of him, he's got like brown leather jacket that he bought in like nineteen seventy four, <laughs> and he's just holding on to it anyway. So he has that look about him. So I'm, I'm doing his windshield. 
whatever. He's inside. I'm, I, I'm working. Another old person walks by. And he has a conversation with me, which goes a lot like this usually when I'm on the job. People are like, oh, so uh, that's what the car looks like without the windshield. I'm like, yep, it's just the car without a windshield. Okay, thank you. But I'm nice. I'm, I, 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 whatever. And he's like, yeah, you know, I tried to get to fix my car and because it's leaking and they won't fix it. Basically, he's, he's, what he's trying to see, he's trying to fish to see if I go like, well, for $5, I'll come over and fix your car. But I'm like, yeah, your car's leaking like a sieve because it's probably, he points to it's like an old rust bug. I'm like, yeah, it's rust. So your car, the windshield is the least of your problems. You need to take you and the car and just push it into the ocean. It's over. It's time to stop. <laughs> I say none of that. Of course, I just have a nice conversation with him. But I do that thing where as I'm finishing my sentence, I'm walking away from him like, all right, yeah, so like that's how it goes and everything's good and blah. And I just walk into my van and like go like I'm doing something over here. So he leaves. <laughs> but as he's leaving, he goes, thanks, son. He says son, right? Like sunny. Yeah. Not sunny, but son. And like I had a moment of like, at what point in your life do you start saying son? Like I'm going to be 37 this year. So I'm not old, but I'm not young. Well, this is weird to me because – you know, there was a while in the in the culture when it was, yo, son, what up? Yeah, but no, he said, thanks, son. Like, hey, son, like, sonny. Yeah. Like, hey, little, hey, young guy. So the whole time after he walked away, because he, he left after that point, I'm in my head, I'm going, now, this guy is probably in his 60s. He might have been a little bit older. So he, I just want to ask you something real quick. Are you sure this wasn't Joe Biden? <laughs> he might have been Joe <laughs> it Biden. Sounds, it sounds exactly like Joe Biden. He's like, let me tell you a story about a man named Zanzibar. <laughs> but so I, in my head, this whole time, I'm thinking, like, did he ever, I'm sure he did, at one point say things like, dude, maybe not bro, but like, hey, whatever, guy, sport, something. You say a certain thing. You know what I noticed? You know what a lot of people say? Jack. Hey, Jack. Yeah. Hey, it's older another people. Biden. But, but, but that's what I was trying to think. I was like, he might have at one point, at what point in your life do you realize that you can't say dude anymore yeah. without sounding like a fucking psycho or like a, like a <laughs> creep? Hey, thanks a lot, dude. I'm like, oh. I think I think at the point when you end up there with a with a brown weird jacket and a, well that a what, rust what, bucket car it wasn't the guy it was another like his neighbor <laughs> it, was another guy. it was a guy walking his like little schnauzer right. and, like like come on scoots or whatever the dog's name was do you think they like kind of have a conflict where like no there's only one of me here like you need to go somewhere else like I can there's only be one type of person that's like this here you have to go somewhere else to be that person I don't know I don't I mean I just like. I know it's like a nothing thing, but I was just thinking about it for like an hour yesterday. Yeah, like, sun. What, like what point? Well, I think Sunny is more, Sunny is more like that's that's more like Sunny. That's like way older. That's like oh, Sunny. He wasn't that old, but he was old enough where he's like, "Thanks, son." And I was like, "Wow, no yeah, one's son, ever called me son." Son is very, you know, that's that's more of an authoritative thing. I think you know. What do you mean, like, like thanks, son? Oh, like he's older and like more yeah. Older. I think it's like you know you showed him respect and like that's the kind of he gave you a little coin. Or whatever he gives you, like a Sacagawea. I mean, obviously he doesn't know my name, so he can't say, hey, thanks, Lou. That's the other one that I wonder about, too, is we were talking – I was talking about this the other day um, with my friend Matt, where it's like, oh, does does your does your daughter still call you dad, 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 daddy, dad? What does he – what does she call you? I'm like, no, she calls me father. See, that's, that's the one, like, where – where does that start? Like, mm -hmm. when you're like, hello, father. Like, when does that – now happen. did you now but but for a kid you have to what is this? What is like, this? I was just kidding by the way. My daughter doesn't do that. But that's what I was wondering. It was like That's something that parents initiate. Yeah. You know, father. Father, your dinner's ready. Call me father. And you have to have that voice. You can't just be like Father, go, we're gonna go to the swim park. Father, we're going outside. It's like Father, I've killed another cat. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's like a sociopath that yeah. you're breeding when you say father. Father, are these knives sharp enough yet for you? <laughs> because I'm bleeding all over the place. Is this sharp enough? Do you love me more? Do you love me still? <laughs> what i mean it's like, and they're always dressed in a suit like they're like eight years old and she they have like, they have like a bow tie a vest like, <laughs> they have a vest but and the same thing with mother mother like that's another one that's like norman bates psycho like mother but i also have heard like you know like the real square older people will call their wife mother yeah that's a weird one mother and me went what, what what's that mother and me what's, what's going on in your bedroom i want to see <laughs> video evidence of how weird and creepy that is like what's his name pence calls his wife mother oh okay so it's like his beard are they all <laughs> closeted homosexuals and like mother and me i haven't touched her vagina in night since 1981 <laughs> like or <laughs> that's why she calls in up. movies i've seen it a lot i've never actually seen it in person where like an older gentleman but the, called his wife mother but the mother doesn't say father back right usually no, it's just no, mother mother no, and i they usually okay so they'll it's, it's not your mother mother no, it's just mother mother yeah. and then the wife who's mother usually refers to the husband as i'm trying to now uh find a reference in my mind of like a movie that i saw and it's like um 
Uh, is it People Under the Stairs? Is this what you're talking about? I mean, that's a movie where it happens. Yeah. But I don't know. I think I've heard things like, especially, it, this is clearly in movies. I'm, I have not seen this in real life. But <laughs> I've never seen, yeah, you're right. I've never it's seen a kid like call older, their parent father. Like an older like an older couple, silver-haired gentleman and his gray-haired wife. And he calls her mother and she'll call him something like, oh, the colonel in me. It is the cur- Yeah, it, it, it's it's always like something like that. He fought in the Great War <laughs> or whatever. Or he was a colonel. He was a colonel. They call him like something like that. So like <laughs> the colonel. The, the admiral and I went to dinner and we had apple pie. And it was, it was like, oh, God. Like, <laughs> the, the commandant. But I, I imagine that there was a period of time where like that was common. Yeah, I think so. I think that. You know, I don't think my point is I don't think I'm ever gonna call a younger kid, even when I'm 70 years old, if I live that long, son. Ever. Yeah. I don't think. But I'm I think you will do Sunny. I think you will be like weirdly in some. I think you're gonna be hanging out like at a junkyard or something like that. I, I, there's a good possibility by the time I'm 70, I have acquired a junkyard. Yeah, and, and, then, and then like you're like, excuse me, Sunny, is that tuna kid can lid open? <laughs> like something like that, like something weird. I, like, have, I haven't eaten anything in days. Stock is tuna. That, that, that's that's still good. That doesn't go bad. No, I I got. I don't think so. I don't think I'll ever say Sun Sunny. Sunny. Okay. What, what do you I think you will say then? Like, so, what are you gonna say? I think like right now when I speak to like, there's a guy I work with and he's 20. So there's like a 17 year gap between us. Yeah, I don't call him anything. I, I, hey man, hey bro, or whatever. Like you know, his name's Will. I call him Will. Now you're what you're saying. Like it's like even then, you know, there is an age gap there, but you don't feel like it's like an older gentleman talking so to you. So even my nephew, who's like six or five, whatever, I don't know how old he is, six maybe, he four or five. I don't. Know, doesn't matter. I don't call him anything weird because, like, you know what I mean? Like, I'll call him by his name or, like, I'll fuck with him or whatever. Like, hey, you little yeah. bastard or whatever. <laughs> you fuck nuts. Like, I'm 30-something years older than him. But I think it's not about the gap in age. It's about we get to – I think a man, especially – I can only speak from a man's perspective. You get to a certain age and you're saying things like I say dude or bro or yo or Would whatever. Would you call them a little scamp? Maybe like sarcastically, but I just feel like at what point, at what age is it? Forty five? Is it fifty? No, I think it's older than that. Because my dad's in his. Like I think late it's. 50s. I think it's sixty five and above. He's in his late fifties. Maybe seventy and above. I don't think he's ever said the word son to another like. No, except for he me, hasn't, his own yeah. son. But I think we should bring back the pop, you know, the culture one. Which Yo, is, son, what up? Yo, son. Well, I know. Yo, before. son, what up? I still say. I like that. I still every once in a while because that confuses the hell out of you, right? No, I know exactly who that is. It doesn't. No, that someone's calling you son and they're the same age as you. No, but they said the yo first. Well, even like yo son, like I, I get that all the time, and I, I respond with yo son. Oh, okay. Yeah, like I'm cool with that. That's okay. fine with me, Kev. So, so it's still around because I feel Definitely. like it, it. Okay, especially people of our age, because I feel like your slang stays with you. So if you grew up in the '90s. You st- I'm still saying fat. I'm still saying mad. I'm still saying. Like, Are you really? Of course. Oh, that shit's, that shit's mad cool, bro. Do you say like tubular? No, I never said that. Gnarly? I never said any of those words. Ever. Mondo? What's that word? Mondo. Mondo. <laughs> Dude, it's Mondo. I'm just thinking of all the like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle like things that they said. No, but when I was a like kid, the surf things. Like I have a cousin, and my family will watch this, and I don't know. Like she's like older than I am. <laughs> okay. But I'm saying I don't want to like throw any like put anyone on blast or whatever. But like she's older than I am, and she. Is like you know, so she was like early '90s, late '80s slang, and still the last time I saw her, it's been years. She still spoke like that, and it was and dressed like that. Like she, okay, oh really? Here's her attire, like Jinko sweat, jeans, no sweatpants. Like I'm talking about like like city <laughs> kid, not like not like the white uh, like slang stuff, like more like the urban, I guess urban slang, whatever. Like Abercrombie and Fitch. No, no, like sweatpants, or? one leg up, right? Oh, okay. The like remember the old like Looney Tunes, like like a <laughs> Bugs Bunny and like a baggy like baggy shirt and baggy. <laughs> Like baggy, like those kind of clothes that came out in the nineties. Yeah, I forgot yeah. what brand made them, and like just the the word she would say, like yo, it's just dank, bro. Like, oh, dank. She, like seriously, like she's like. I never used that one. Yeah, like yo, God, blah 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 blah. Like she just like it's like in her brain, in some level, it's like ninth, fall of ninety three or something like that. And like, but I get it because I can relate to that because you, I think you you use the words. I like stupid. Like that man, mad stupid. Yo, this man. shit is stupid cool. I like that. that that's right. a good one. That's good too. I, that's still around, right? Like I never said bitchin. Like, no, yo, I, this shit is bitchin. No, bitchin was definitely like made up in, I think suburban it was just white, in a suburban white movie. Suburban. No, there's definitely like hella and there bitchin. Was, oh, okay. Go to like I, I guarantee. I've you, heard hella. Yeah, a lot of people we know up north say hella. Like up up. My like brother had a, my brother had a nice run with hella. A nice run with hella. Yeah, Matt, can you comment on that in the comments on the Instagram? Tell he probably is going to say he's a fucking liar, but I, I just remember. I him. have never 
said those words. He's going to come out with a statement. He's going to have a podium. Yes. First of all, thank you all for coming here. MSNBC, <laughs> CNN. You guys thank you, great. Brian Williams. <laughs> Anderson Cooper, you look smashing, darling. <laughs> and I just want to say one thing. I have never said the words, never nor will I ever say the words hella. Not with the E, L L A, or the L L A H. Neither of them will be said. I like the combinations of like Mad Crazy Stupid Good, like Mad Bones Extreme. <laughs> like things like that. I love I love like the combinations. Yo, these Doritos are Mad Bones yo, Extreme. Mad Stupid Good, yo. But like that's how I would Yo son. I would I would I like things like that. I like old slang, but I think even like okay, so this guy, when he was a kid. Older people called him son, and then either subconsciously or consciously. Now he's old; he's using that word. So I don't think because no one's called me that. Yeah. Because the older, even the older people that I like, I know now who are older than I am, are not calling me fucking son. The one that I like that you used to do, and I think you still do it sometimes. I love when you say bananas. You're like that shit was bananas. I do because like, you can always you can't say that without saying it. Sounding dude, like, it's fucking bananas. You yeah, you can't sound like you can't not sound like Richard Simmons when that you shit say that. is bananas. <laughs> B a n a n a. Yes, this shit is bananas. You're like that was bananas. I do say I know yeah. I say crazy a lot. Yeah. I'll say nuts a lot. Like dude, I don't want to get crazy. Oh, nuts. And yeah. then just say something that's not crazy whatsoever. I think I still say dope. I say dope all the yeah, time. Dope is still Yo, pretty dope good. Dope AF. Now the AF, that's new, but it's not that new oh, anymore. Oh, dope is fuck. As fuck like the AF. Oh. Like the AF and all the abbreviation shit. Like that's like the kids that are like a little bit younger than we are. Yeah. But even now it's not young or cool anymore. But for me, that's like those are the newest ones. I think I said the other day, I think and people like you still say that? I said off the chain. Off the his aim. <laughs> okay. The, right? Whatever you just but said. But that's like late nineties, early two yeah. thousands. Even like fleek, yeah, that shit's on fleek. Fleek I didn't do. Yeah. I but, like fleek. Yeah. And okay. that's even old. By the time I started using it, it was already like, Hey, you're thirty. And I, I, I think I, I did say on the real sometimes. On the real? On on the real son, son with that one was good. But son is son's like the son's. It's like the linchpin of certain like it phrases. Is. Like yeah, yo son, not today, son. Yeah, I like that. You know what I mean? Like it, yeah, it, it's it's like a New York thing. Like like you good? Like what's good? And See, you, you good? couldn't you couldn't do that with Sonny. No, yo Sonny, yo Sonny, yo Sonny. I broke my hip. But like even like those like other like, that was mad dope. Like, Sonny, what's good? Like what's good is like one of those things that can mean so many things. Like it, it means like what's up. It means like is there a fucking problem? It means like how you doing? What's good? I what's like good? that. Yeah, what's good? What's good is what's really good. good. What's what's yeah. really good? What's really good? What's yeah. really good? Yeah. You know? See, that, what's really good, son? Yo, son, yeah, yo, son, what's really good? Exactly. Yeah, you could you could flip it. You could do whatever you want. You, could, you oh just have God. fun. You just have so when I'm. If I make it and I'm like, me and my junkyard are doing well and we're, and we're, and we're thriving. That's mad crazy I'm stupid. I'm never going to. Yeah, it's going to be yo, mad crazy stupid. But I think that's what's going to happen. When we're in our 70s, if we get there, we're not going to use the slang as much because we're going to be too busy. Like everything hurts or whatever. But it's going to come out. <laughs> And it's gonna I am sound, osteoporosis. It's going to sound like someone who grew up in like the 60s and 70s and might have said things like groovy. Yeah. Or like uh, or You're whatever. Right. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's, like a, it's like a washed out hippie. It's okay. like, it's groovy. Yeah, it's got to sound like that. Yeah, like, it's got to sound like Tom Waits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tom Waits that like uh, came out of a junkyard. I love Tom Waits. Which actually. you, that's going to be you. I You're going to have the Tom Waits voice. Sometimes I can do an impression of Tom Waits. Go. I, when I, no, I have to listen to him a lot. Like I haven't listened to him in a couple of like, days. But when I do listen to him a lot, I could definitely... In my car, I'll sing along. The organ tuna. But it's not. It's not. So, yeah, no, it's, it's not like that. It's like it's almost like. Um, and then we'll end here. We'll end on end on my little Tom Waits impression. And I'll do another one later, and I'll put it on Instagram where he's kind of like. Um, let me think of a line from a song. He's like. Uh, you don't even like, need to. Uh, you just think of something. Yeah, you could think. About. You could think of anything. He's like. And they're going down to the sawmill. Like it's like that's just, good. That's see that's. I, but if I listen to him for it's, hours, it's like almost in in here. Well, what he does is, I think he, that's his natural voice when he sings or he whatever he like emotes and whatever he's doing. But there are times when like it's almost like there's a little bit of a lisp at the end where he's like. <laughs> now, real quick, I want a little exercise here. I want you to work in all the things that we just said and then say it as Tom Waits. I don't know. My you know, just some <laughs> Sounds like Kevin had the old coronavirus <laughs> and then he didn't. And the old man went down and said, Sonny. And I can't. I, 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 I got to listen to him on all the rest of the day. And then later tonight, I'm going to do an Because I got to get it again. But I do them in my car by myself, and I listen. To, like I'll go through. Like, so you, had, you do practice impressions. You said you don't practice impressions. I don't because... I like Tom Waits, and I'll listen to you know I am with music. I'll get on a kick and 
be listening to Tom Waits for like eight days straight. Yeah. And then I'll be in the car. There's enough music too to do that. And he has tons of music and I'll just like, just make that. I'll just like sing to myself as Tom Waits. Not even the lyrics. Like I'll just like rock jock to myself. Like, and we're going down to the Burger King or whatever I'm talking about. Yeah. There was a homeless guy outside of Seven Eleven uh the other day. And, uh, you know, he held his hand. He's like, what's up, man? And I went. Let's bounce. <laughs> Let's end on that note. And I You're like, I'll just there. And go. I gave him change, and then he like saw me inside. He saw me inside. He's like, he's like, you know, I, th- I thought about what you did there, and I guess it's just all this Corona thing out there. That's why you did that. I was like, yeah, that's why I fucking did that. Sure. Amongst other things, sir. Yeah. And then I told him about the cruise. He's like, wait a minute, you said you were on that cruise. <laughs> I'm like, the, you no. Had this, you had this conversation. Uh, no. That's okay, it. sorry. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you guys for watching this episode. Of course, find us on Instagram at the Big Bucket of Chicken Podcast. Uh, thank you guys for watching, listening. However, you could do it, Spotify, Anchor, and uh, what is it, Kev? No, just one more thing. I just, uh, just, uh, just, a, just a lesson learned here. You son of a um, just because you give a homeless person change, just uh, make sure that you understand that they may still talk to you after you give you the change. And that's what happened there. All right. Thanks for the lesson. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out. Booyah.